Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Houseplant Pixie. For everyone that's new to my channel, my name is Monique and thank you so much to all my existing subscribers for tuning back in. Today's video is about my little orchid collection. It's, it's very little and I have to admit I don't know any names, I don't know what it is. They're all being gifted to me. And I think a lot of you guys will agree with me. We all had once in a lifetime, if you're female, I think if you're male, maybe not so much. You had an orchid gifted to you. Comment in the comment section below if that's the case. I know a fair few people that have an orchid and they almost killed them or killed them because they are, they don't need anything. They're literally and, and you will see I'm actually quite embarrassed about my collection because they are covered in mealybugs and I left them so I can show you how I treat them and once I treated them they are probably mealybug free for a little while but they are so prone I'm not sure what it is I could probably change position so I have them in a self-facing window Keep in mind guys, I am in Western Australia. My theory for the reoccurring mealybugs is a bit of lack of airflow. I will probably organize a little fan to keep the air moving. I think that is the biggest problem when you do have mealybugs. I had mealybugs in the plant room and I got like a fan on a um, timer which kicks in and I have not seen any mealybugs but there is just those certain plants like hoyas, succulents you just gotta keep an eye on Please them excuse, <laughs> excuse they are literally in a spare room and they're getting neglected sometimes when I water literally I, I, I'm not even watering once a month because it's winter at the moment but they have wood chips and those wood chips I will soak. I show you how I soak them. I show you how I clean the mealy First one with the orchids, they don't like to sit in water. Never, never, ever have the water sitting in the bottom. Any other plant, they will forgive you, but not an orchid. They do not like wet feet, you call it. So, the other thing, so I have. So there is like drainage holes here, so they could potentially be sitting water in the bottom. This is your standard planter you will buy your orchid in. If you had one gifted, you know what I'm talking about. And usually they come in wood chips, but I'm pretty sure I'm cha I changed this to um, lacquer. So I just talk a little bit about the flowers and so this has flowered the previous year and I did not cut the flower where the flower come from if it dries off like if it goes completely brown do I have an example I don't I don't think I have it on any of the others let this die back if it goes brown you can cut it on the bottom if you here's the best example this bit I cut off there it was getting brown and look where the new where the new flower come from again I have no idea what they're called I got this one gifted when I bought a plant so I have no idea what I'm going to do is they flowered here so this is completely died I will cut that off I'll take that leaf off just in general, clean up the plant. And this one has the wood chips. It's basically no soil, it's just all wood chips because they do not like to sit in moisture. They will not like it. And believe it or not, I mean, <laughs> it's actually, it, it kind of is funny, but, um, I don't think I have a photo, um, probably a year back, one of these orchids, I think it was this one, actually 
created a on on the flower stem it created a, an orchid and I posted it on the plant page asking what it is and someone actually comment, commented and said your orchid thinks it's dying so it's creating a baby which called a kiki so if that ever happens yeah I think the kiki is this one here not looking too good and from memory I don't think I believe that orchid that created the kiki did not die it, uh, it did survive that's last year's flower stem so I could have cut that off right on the base here because it produced a new one and it's riddled in mealybugs look at that oh my god that is disgusting also on that note where your orchid's been standing so mine are in that south facing window i will have to wipe that window the window sill and surround i've checked for surround like the surrounding plants for potentially having some mealybugs if you miss one little mealybug that one will create more little mealybugs and you start from the beginning and that's the cycle ongoing ongoing so be aware to not only treat your plant also treat the surrounding of the plant yeah so what I'm going to do so I'm going to take that leaf off also with all your um, leaves and stuff you take off and have mealybugs on them or if you treat for any pest diseases do not put in your compost no good just put it in the bin i really promise i will take better care and next year I do another video and see because usually they have m massive amount of flowers and this year it's quite embarrassing um, i was a bit shocked so that is the only flowers I'll have this year. And this one sits in perlite. Oh no, it's just the top perlite. And then we've got the wood chips. All right, let's give them a bath. So here we are, and basically, let's fill with water. That's where we soak them to water them. Oh, I hope you can hear me all right. And just a normal detergent. This is not a paid advertisement. And we let that fill up and then we come back. All right, now everybody is lined up for bath time. We've got number one. I, I just cut one of my sponges. And now we're just gonna, I oh, hope you can see what I'm doing here. Really, with the flowers, you gotta be really careful that we not break any. And I'm just gonna. Try and wipe as much as possible off these flower heads. You could probably also use an old toothbrush or cotton bud and then give the leaves a good wipe. Make sure that detergent, the detergent won't hurt the plant. the leaf underside and make sure in that axle here you get and also make sure on the actual flower stem as 
last one sitting right there, right in there, right there. So try to get them all out. And if you don't get them out, because you put the detergent on it, it will actually kill them because it will dissolve the membrane they got and they won't survive. So now I might just brush that off. I'm gonna leave the all that detergent on the actual plant and now we're going for a soak while I'm at it I'm just cutting these ones out well I hope this one will recover yeah if they have many bugs get onto it and these roots are normal, they usually grow on on trees and they're really area roots that's out I would leave them. I don't mind them. If you don't like the look of them, you can possibly cut them off, but I'll just leave them. And we get this one. Oh look at that. That is terrible. Clean that up a bit flowers off, the lace out. This one had a nice purple flower. I don't think this one has any mealy bugs, but just in case one hurt, I'll just give it a really quick, a quick rinse and a wipe on the leaves. One hurt it. Oh, actually, see that's going around and it's still alive, but it's safe to cut this one off now. And it's got a bit of mealy bark on there. I'm just going to cut it off again, right in the axle there. Wipe the leaf. And I'm gonna just put that whole flower into the water. And then this is the last one. This is probably the worst one. I have no idea why they're sitting on the flower buds. And this one has sphagnum moss and look how much is in that leaf eggs for there so same again i think this one i'll put under completely and just gonna give it a wipe of the flowers, try not to wipe it, just gently press it into the sponge and then uh, you could also use a cotton bud but I'm pretty confident that the mealybugs won't survive this. Just to show you what I was talking about, this is the windowsill where these guys are sitting and I'm going to give it a good spray. And the window and that frame the whole window sill and I get back to you when I got them all back in their spot they are all back
in this spot. I did check the cacti and the ficus audrey. I wiped that one as well, as well as that. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope you're not going to unsubscribe to my channel. Don't overcare. Most people overcare, overwater, they sit in water and then it's not good for the plant. And I hope this video was helpful how to deal with mealybugs. And let me know in the comments below if you want an update or your thoughts in general. I'll see you next time. Until then, stay plenty. Bye.